pictures written and illustrated by Anthony Brown. And on the front cover, you can see Willie dressed as an artist and he's painting the Mona Lisa. Let's start the story. Willie's pictures. And on this page, there's a picture of the three characters. Willie, Millie and Buster Nose. And those three characters are encased in a little paint set. This is the paintbrush and they're the watercolour sets. So let's start the story. Oh, hang on, we've got the book is dedicated to all great artists who have inspired me to paint. Look out for their pictures at the back of this book. And that's what Willie's saying right there. Let's start. Willie likes painting and looking at pictures. He knows that every picture tells a story. The birthday suit. Quick, cover yourself up. And he's really here getting a big beach towel and just going to wrap it around the lady. My best ever sandcastle. I was so pleased with it, but I had an odd feeling that the castle was trying to warn me of something. And I know what that something is. It's on this side of the page. You might be able to see it. Lots and lots of dots. We gradually started to notice some very strange things in the park. The kind women. I had been getting a bit bored with painting all that grass. So these two lovely ladies are helping to get the paintbrush and paint some more. Early morning dream. I'm just taking my dog for a walk. And here's Millie up here having a little look down at the dog going for a walk. <laughs> my birthday. At first I thought it was great fun, but would they ever stop? At the swoon pool. Oh no, it's the wrong changing room. Coming to life. I was just finishing this painting when I heard a small voice say, give us a hand. This, the mysterious smile. Can you solve the mystery? There's a little doll there. The fruitful fishing trip. We hadn't caught anything all day or we're on our way home when we cast our net out for the last time. And they've caught a pig. Look at that. <laughs> and a whole lot of bananas. I wonder why bananas? Room without a view. I had always hated looking out of that window. So one morning I decided to do something about it. And here he is. He thought he'd paint a picture or a scene on the brick wall. My nightmare, the dreadful invitation read, you are invited to attend the wedding ceremony of Millie and Buster Nose. And he's really down here going, no, no. An odd day. As soon as we got there, it seemed that Millie was in a hurry to go home. I'm sorry, she said, I must fly. And she was off. Landscape with onion. We followed it for miles before we finally hunted it down. There's the onion. We've caught it. Nearly a self-portrait. Some of my friends wanted to help. And here they are. They've got little paintbrushes and they're helping paint the vest that Willie is wearing. The hero. I can dream, can't I? And there's the dragon down here. You probably can't see, but the dragon has Buster Nose's face. Now open the fold out pages to see what the pictures have inspired. Those pictures tell stories too. Try matching them with Willie's pictures and read what Willie says about them. So here's Anthony Brown. He's walking out the door and he's the mask that he was wearing when he was doing all the illustrations. And we could have a quick look at some of the illustrations because these pages fold out. Here's the Mona Lisa here. You've got that little other work up there where Buster Nose is marrying Millie. There's a lot of famous artworks. I'll turn this one inside over. Over, over, over. 
Okay, so sometimes just a tiny part of the original painting shows in Robbie's work, so look carefully. So that looks like that's the last page that we can look at. Oh no, here's one more. But we'll shut that page. So that was a lovely story about Willie's pictures. Bye.